Canary Islands are once again the meeting point for Olympic sailing. For the second year in a row, Marina Rubicon kicked off the IQ Foil World Circuit with the Lanzarote International Games. Here, 154 athletes from over 35 countries assembled on the island to start the 2023 season and to begin their race to Paris 2024. We have the second edition of the Lanzarote IQ Foil Games and we are the opening series for the international circuit. We are very proud to have this event and we are very thankful to the class, to the government of the Canary Islands and Lanzarote for supporting the event. Lanzarote is very special. Um, the reason why we're here is because the sailors, the IQ Foil sailors, chose this location every winter since three years in a row to come and train. So actually we started learning that Lanzarote had ideal conditions and it had warm weather of course, so we decided to, to, to come here and uh, experience it. So the IQ Fall Games is our internal tour, it's like a World Cup series that we have. Uh, we have around five events a year and it's where all our sailors come and compete in the similar standards that we have at the Europeans and the World Championships, which are our bigger regatta. So uh, we have around five events as I said, so that's the IQ Fall Games. Lanzarote opened the competition with unbeatable sailing conditions for the first day. Glorious sun with strong and stable wind. All the best athletes in the world were present, so the show was guaranteed. It was Pilar La Madrid who started the competition strong by winning multiple races for Spain and showing her dominance to the rest of the fleet. However, as the final day approached, it was the 19-year-old Sharon Cantor who grasped the lead from Pilar. Together with Cantor, the Israeli woman monopolized the top five during the entire week. In the men's fleet, Sam Sills was almost unbeatable and leading from the very start. The Brit, who had been training in Lanzarote for months prior, demonstrated his knowledge of the race course and showed how important this really was as he won more than half of the races. But as the level was so incredibly high, there was no slouching for Sam. Every race was very tight, often with just one point away from gaining or losing a place in the ranking. Yet after four days packed full of thrilling racing, the top 10 women and top 10 men competed in the ever sensational final medal series. The nerve shredding women's final was between the local favourite Pilar La Madrid and the under 21 Israeli pair Sharon Cantor and Shahar Tibi. The racing was tough with over 25 knots but Pilar La Madrid managed to win the final race thus taking the gold once again here in Lanzarote. I'm super happy to be winning here in Lanzarote as I could do uh, also last year and yeah coming in second for this uh, semi-final and not going directly to the final was a little bit more uh, difficult but uh, yeah I managed to, to win the semi-final and also the final and yeah I'm really really happy with this. Following the women's final that gripped the audience, the men's final came and also surprised everyone with some unexpected drama between the Brit Sam Sills, Paweł Tarnowski from Poland and the current IQ Foil European champion Nicolas Goyard. During it, Sam Sills and Paweł Tarnowski were super close as they raced at mega high speeds towards the finish. Paweł just in front but Sam quickly gaining. With just 20 metres before the finish, disaster struck as Paweł crashed and a second later Sam also crashing since several metres was all that separated them. Meanwhile Frenchman Nicolas Goyard continued towards them in third. While Sam was still swimming after his equipment, Powell managed to get his sail back up and make it first over the finish line. Super great event, uh, three very hard races for me. I, I'm super happy that I uh, nailed quarter and semi-finals, then I came into the finals clear head uh, nailed it again. The craziest finish I could ever imagine to myself, but I'm super happy to win it. For second and third place, there was a surprising and amazing gesture of sportsmanship from France's Nicolas Goyard. As he approached the finish, he reduced his speed to ensure that the deserving Sam Seals took the second position. final that left us all speechless and looking forward to Lanzarote next year.